What's up guys, welcome back to Fisher Hex. In today's video, we're gonna be testing out a new refugium light over the 60 gallon cube that is on the 200 gallon frag tank. Now currently, if you guys have seen that build, I have two 100 watt uh, 5K LEDs that I picked up from Home Depot and they put out a ton of light. Now the algae has been growing, but it's not really growing as fast as I want it to. So I figured I'd go ahead and make the switch now. A friend of mine actually said that this was a pretty good light and he's been using over his refugium for a while and has some good luck. Now for 28 bucks, it's definitely worth a try and for whatever reason, if it doesn't work as well as the LEDs I had before, I can simply switch back and there won't be any issues. All right, so here's the light on Amazon. It's a 45 watt LED grow light panel and uh, I will put a link to this in the description below. It has 225 LEDs and uh, it's full spectrum UV IR. Um, and it has a really intense purple and blue output now of course plants like to grow in that type of spectrum and uh, with the bulbs that i currently had over the tank it really gave out a more of a green and yellow spectrum not so much the blue and red and uh, that's why i want to make this switch to kind of see if it uh, will grow better as you guys can see it's definitely bright and it's filling up the room and it has that really cool purple look to it now my only concern is it is 45 watts opposed to the 200 watts that i had previously over the system and uh, that is a pretty big jump in power so hopefully that this spectrum will make all the difference when it comes to growing the algae and really time will tell so let's go to move over to replacing the lights that i currently have over the tank with this new one all right, so after I was done removing the original lighting, I had to figure out how I'm going to hang this thing up without uh, having to spend any extra money on a DIY hanging kit or anything like that. That way, if it doesn't work, I'm only out 30 bucks and not another 20 uh, trying to make it work. Now, with that being said, it came with uh, four hooks that are actually um, built on to the light fixture that you guys saw earlier, um, but it also came with a hanging kit. Now that hanging kit has four wires with a hook on it. Now, if you guys see the frag tank there, there's the two poles that go up the side that actually hold up the light fixture above it. And uh, because there's four of those, I went ahead and I wrapped a wire on around each one of them and connected it to the light. Now that allows the light to just kind of hang there over the sump. It's about, I would say maybe 10 inches off the water level. And it worked out pretty good because it's not getting splashed by the bubbles from the overflow or anything like that. So but the, uh, the only issue that I did have when I originally hung it up is that the um, anchors themselves actually caused the light to be crooked. So what I had, what I had it did is I repositioned the anchors uh, just by simply unscrewing and screwing them back in. And that way the light fixture kind of hangs evenly and uh, there really isn't any issues. As you guys can see, it definitely fills up the refugium. It is a good color. Uh, my only concern is that it's not as bright as I would like it to be. Again, I'm comparing this to 200 watts opposed to 45. And uh, with the other lights, they were more of a focal point light. They didn't spread out like this one did. So maybe that will make up for some of the difference in power. I guess time will tell, right? So either way, let's go ahead and get over to the Senai meter and see what kind of power we have. All right, so here is the Senai Par meter zip tied to one of my old algae scrapers. Now, back in the day, I used this algae scraper on the 125, I guess back in the day. It's been about a year and a half, so yeah, that's back in the day for me, I guess. Either way, uh, this Par meter is uh, strictly just for Par. You could use it for temperature and pH. It could actually just stay in your tank all the time, and uh, I think they retail for about 200 bucks uh, from SenaiReef.com. And uh, either way, I got this one used for about 75 bucks, and I've been using it for uh, about a year or two now, something like that, and I really do love it. Uh, either way, uh, basically the par reading so far from this light is about 255. It gets up to about 260 for a second there. And uh, yeah, that's not very good. I thought it would be a little bit brighter, but again, all these LEDs are spread out over about 13 inches by 13 inches. So, um, you know, I'm only getting a focal point of lighting. I'm not really getting a ton of it because it is really spread out. But either way, um, it goes from about 255. Once we get underneath the water, it drops down all the way to about 55 par. And that's only about halfway into the tank. So we're only looking about... Uh, this is a two foot tank we're only looking about 12 inches deep and we're already down to like 36 par that seems um it seems pretty low for me and again that is where i get the concern that there just isn't enough power from 45 watts now i did go ahead and take the handle apart just to get a better angle underneath the water because sometimes when the meter is kind of crooked it doesn't get a proper reading now you can see it's about 170 at the top of the macroalgae there and it gets all the way down to about 95 and again that's only halfway down the tank I mean, I didn't even bother uh, testing the par at the bottom of the tank because I just figured it would be pointless. But uh, yeah, I am kind of disappointed on how much power it has. But if you guys see here, this video where I'm doing the par has already uh, been a week after adding the, um, the light. And I can tell that the macroalgae is fluffier and it is bigger, but it's not, you know, balls out growing like you know I wanted to I think my expectations might be a little too high for uh, the amount of money that I'm putting into my refugium light I could go out and buy that Kessel light and I probably will down the road once uh, you know the 300 gallon is done and I'm kind of 
cruising on um, sales here and stuff like that. And I'm not really trying to dump all my money into that build. I might go ahead and spend a little bit extra on the refugium light. But until then, we're going to keep an eye on this 45 watt light and then maybe go back to the 200 if I have to. And then eventually we'll go ahead and get a better one. Either way, guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you uh, enjoyed it and found it to be somewhat entertaining. If you have any questions, go ahead and put it in the comment section below and I'll see you next time. Peace.